so much sushi, so little time. The lighting in here, my god. <laughs> control I know, I'm being, run, run for your lives. I'm being such a like PMS y Karen. But this looks good. Good morning and welcome to a brand new vlog. It's Saturday. I'm so excited it's Saturday. Can I just say? It was like the week from hell at work this week, so I'm very excited to have a day off. It was my first week back from not being there for a week because of my dad, and I just... I don't know. I feel like when life-altering things such as death happens to you, you just, like, have a lot less patience for the bullshit and I just had a lot less patience for the bullshit this week. Not just in general, you know, just in general. So I'm excited to hang out with you this weekend. We have quite a few things to do. I'm not looking forward to how busy I am this weekend. Mike and I are going to Miami on Wednesday doing a little trip, which I'm so excited for because we really haven't been away since we went to Orlando. I could use a vacation to remove me from my being that I am right now, plot me somewhere different and just, you know, be in a different kind of element. Um, so I'm very excited for that. We'll work out, we'll drink coffee, we'll probably cry. And you know, it is what it is. Welcome to a new day. Welcome to a new vlog. Thanks so much for being here. I love you and I appreciate it. I think Brogan wanted to say good morning. Do you want to say good morning to the people? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, can you please not go on my vanity, please? It's so small, there's not enough room for you and all of the makeup. And he loves my Halloween mug. Don't we just love Halloween here? Hi, sir. Tell them, tell them hello. Show them how cute you are. What a sweet boy. When he's not being bad. <laughs> workout was terrible in the sense that I hate arms and it was literally 40 minutes of arms four rounds each move I can't like oh my god I can't even oh my god it hurts to lift my arms so needless to say I need to take some protein in but I'm gonna make the salad that I probably eat four out of the seven days of the week and I figured I'd show you because what else am I doing I'm using my husband's bowl that he just used for lunch and his fork because we hate doing dishes and the dishes are never ending and let's be real whatever he's got I'm gonna end up getting anyway so I'm sorry for all of you germaphobes out there it is what it is we like arugula so I'm gonna make an arugula salad I am no chef but this is just what I've been eating and I'm gonna cut up my lettuce just because I find that this oh arugula is a little aggressive. It's an aggressive arugula. I have a party later and then I think we're going to my mom's to have dinner with her and my brother. However, that has yet to be confirmed. I'm pretty sure it's happening though. So I just need like a healthier lunch. I feel like a lot of you are gonna think that this salad's probably weird, but it's good. So arugula, pepper, salt, and then I love this stuff. It tastes so good. Nutritional yeast. It has protein in it. It's supposed to be good for you. Um, and it tastes like cheese. So if you're vegan, this is a great substitute for cheese. However, I'm not vegan and I'm gonna put more cheese in my salad, but I just, I love this stuff. So I put a generous amount and it literally looks like fish food. I've showed you this before, I'm pretty sure. Some Parmesan cheese, cause you know, I love cheese. A good amount of cheese. And then more cheese. I'm gonna put some cottage cheese in my salad and this will serve as more protein or the main source of protein. My Aunt Debbie made me a salad when I went to her apartment over the summer, I think. And she put cottage cheese in it, which I never thought to do. But ever since then, this is my favorite salad. A cottage cheese arugula salad like so. Does that look appealing? I don't know. And then I'm gonna use extra virgin olive oil, which Mike and I, he likes Greek olive oil. 
And I really, I just, I love Italian and I don't understand how you could choose anything that's not Italian in terms of like where things are made. That's an ongoing debate in this household. Mike always jokes, if it says it's from Italy, I automatically think it's worth double the price, which he's not a, he's not false. Mix it all in, put a little bit more. And then some Dijon mustard. And I'm literally just gonna, like literally mustard it out. Dressings are bad for you and mustard isn't bad for you. So that's my dressing. This is my salad. I'm gonna enjoy this. Have a protein shake. Oh, and normally I would put onions in here because I love onions, but we don't have any, we ran out. Can we talk about this for a minute? Can we talk about this for a minute? I literally just took this clinical strength deodorant out of the box. Guys, I literally had to spin and spin and spin and spin and spin this. And look at how far up the bottom of the product is after just getting that much from the top. Like there's no freaking product in this deodorant. Do you see that? Literally, I pumped it until it was up here for any of it to come out. That's disgusting. This deodorant is like pretty expensive. I think it's like $12. And I didn't realize I was paying $12 for a quarter of a friggin' deodorant bottle. <sighs> this is bad. What deodorant am I gonna buy in order to replace this? Because I refuse to spend my money on this. This is a hoax. Like, what is this? I'm not a fool. Fool me once, fool me twice. You will not. I'm mad. Okay, so I've done a terrible job of filming the vlog today. Honestly, by the time I worked out and then sat down to do my makeup, I had no time to record because we had a party. However, I did this makeup look. Um, it was on Instagram, Hailey Bieber, someone did her makeup. One of my coworkers asked me to recreate the look and honestly, it came out pretty good. I don't look like Hailey Bieber. That is a given and I always like to say when you find makeup that you like kind of gauge it as like an inspiration because everyone's face is so different and we all have different features that while a makeup look might look a certain way on someone it could look totally different on you because we have different eye shapes we have different face shapes so if you're interested in seeing how I created it I will link the video above and you can check it out. I've been wearing this lip since 12 and it has pleasantly surprised me and not moved. Um, I've been eating I've been drinking and I'm wearing a MAC cork lip liner paired with this lipstick that I forgot was so good. This is Lady Be Good by MAC. And then I put a little bit of gloss on the center. Um, NARS Chelsea Girls. And I'll just add a little bit more now just because my lips are feeling a little dry. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go ahead to my mom's house. Me, Mike, my brother, and my mom are gonna have dinner together, which is super cute. And then tomorrow will be a way more chill day. I think the only plans that I have are a pedicure at 11, which I'm very excited for because I haven't had a pedicure, in, a pedicure in months. And then yeah, we'll hang out. I wanna make banana bread. I need to pack for Miami. We'll do that kind of stuff together. I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys the makeup. I'm a little rusty, I gotta be honest. I haven't really been piling on the makeup as I used to, just because of everything that's been going on, but I'm getting back into it slowly, baby steps. I also received a package from Merit in the mail today, which is so exciting. I do work with Merit. If you're interested in anything from Merit, you can use my link below and I get a little commission, but they sent me two of their new blushes that I can't wait to try in their new packaging. The ones that I have, kind of old now. I got them like a year ago and they came in this packaging. And then this is their new packaging, which is so cute. Gold is like my favorite color aside from pink, but they sent me two of their new shades. This is persimmon. I don't know, but it looks like a really sexy, like, ooh, like a reddish orange. I feel like this would look really good on those of you who have a darker complexion than me. And then this one's like super pink, which honestly I'm more excited for this one. And this is in the shade Stockholm. I feel like this is just a color that I've seen everywhere. So I will try them tomorrow with you because today I put on, this is one of my favorite blushes. The color is just so good. This is in Cheer Up in the Glow Play Blush by MAC. How good is that? So good. I love makeup. For those of you who may be interested, this was my outfit today. I am so in love with these boots. I got them at Macy's. My sister bought them for me. Well, my sister bought them for me for Christmas, but she bought them at Macy's because I picked them out. Black jeans. This like really cute cowl neck, but like also kind of sweater-like top from The Gap that's old. 
and then the makeup. And then here's my bag. I bought this pre-loved from Fashion File. It's Valentino. It's just the rock stud toe in medium. They discontinued this shape, which is why I bought it pre-loved. Black and gold. You can never go wrong with black and gold. Am I right or am I right? And if you say I'm not right, you're wrong. And this is the risk you take when not wearing cry-proof makeup. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, we are gonna make some banana bread. It is healthier banana bread and I will link the recipe down below. And I think I'm just gonna do a voiceover so I can do this quickly and move on to the next thing. Okay, so I've made this banana bread about six or seven times now. It's so good, it tastes so fresh, but I'm taking a third cup of oil and then I'm gonna take half a cup of honey and mix the two together in this big mixing bowl and I'm gonna whisk the two together. Cracking two eggs inside, I'm then gonna whisk it all together again. And then this time I'm gonna take three bananas. I usually use two bananas, but my husband requested that the next banana bread I make be a little bit more banana-y. So I mash them up using a fork on a plate. I just find like this is so much easier. And then I'm gonna add the three bananas into the bowl and then you guessed it, whisk it all together. Taking a quarter of 2% milk, I'm gonna add that, whisk it. Now I'm gonna take baking soda. Using one teaspoon, it's very important to use baking soda. Do not use baking powder, there is a difference. Adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then I'm gonna whisk that all together. Taking one and three quarters of flour, you can use whole wheat flour to make this healthier, but I didn't have whole wheat flour. So I'm just using what I got, extra virgin olive oil. I'm just gonna, you know, line the inside of this pan. I'll put the dimensions of the pan down below because I honestly don't remember off the top of my head. Pouring that deliciousness of banana-y goodness into the pan. I'm then gonna go ahead and sprinkle some cinnamon on top just to make it look a little fancy. So while I anticipated this only taking an hour at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, it ends up taking like an hour and 15 minutes, I guess because I threw in an extra banana. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out, but this did take an hour and 20. Okay, so while my banana bread bakes, I thought we would do an unboxing because surprise, Mike and I went to the Short Hills Mall today for what feels like the 55th time in the last month um, because like I mentioned in a previous vlog, Mike bought me a Cartier ring for Christmas. I want it to fit this finger right here and it's too big. And so I don't know why, but trying to obtain the correct size that I need has been almost impossible. So today Mike was like, we're just gonna go and we're just gonna return it. See, you know, what happens from there. We have finally ordered the correct size. However, it could take two weeks to two months to get the ring. So I think I got a little credit card happy because in my brain, I think I just chalked it up to, if I can't have my ring, I shall have something else. I don't know who I think I am, but this transpired. There's two things in here I needed. They didn't need to be Louie, obviously. I've needed a new wallet for quite some time now, and I wear belts all the time. I'm a belt wearer, I'm a belt lover, and like I really think I get my return on investment on all my belts because I wear a belt every single day. I don't have a good brown belt. I have a Gucci, vintage Gucci belt that is reversible. One side is black and one side is brown but it's not like the right brown. And it also has a silver G on it. And I, I wear a lot of gold. I mean, as I say that, as I'm wearing my silver watch and my silver earrings, but I wear a lot of gold. And I like my belts to match my bags. And this is my Valentino bag, it has gold studs. I guess we're gonna kind of do a what's in my bag. Honestly, I really need to pack for Miami. So I don't think I'm gonna record myself packing because I just need to get it done so I don't have that burden. Because it's Sunday right now, I'm leaving on Wednesday and I have a lot of anxiety about it. So I'm just gonna sit here, we're gonna do a what's in my bag, which will lead to my unboxing. I bought this on Fashion File, pre-loved website. I buy all of my designer bags pre-loved just because they are so expensive. And let me tell you, every single bag that I've bought, I bought this Valentino, I bought another Valentino, I bought a Chanel bag. Did I buy any other pre-loved bags? I think those are the three pre-loved bags that I bought, but every single bag that I've bought secondhand has been almost like brand new, like literally like brand new. Like there was not a single issue with this bag when I got it and I paid literally a fraction of the price. Like I think I paid a quarter of the price and Valentino stopped making the size. This is the medium Rockstead tote. I think they only make a small and they only make a large and I really wanted this one. So I had to buy it pre-loved, but it also has a, sold a shoulder strap, 
a shoulder strap. I really love this bag though, okay? It holds quite a lot. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't zipper. It has this kind of, I don't know what you call this. It goes in here and it clips, but it doesn't stay. Like, oh, actually, I think I just didn't clip it back all the way. I think that's a me problem, not the bag problem because it wasn't staying clipped, but now it is. I think I just didn't clip it all the way. But so this is it. You've seen it so many times. The Ralph Lauren wallet. I am so in love with this wallet. It is so cute, you know, my identity, so I'm not gonna show you that, but it has flaps in here. I can put my money in here. It buttons in the front, and then it has a little change holder in the back, but I've had this for like ever. Like, I think I got this when I was in college with my mom. Her and I went to the Short Hills Mall. I used to be such a Michael Kors fan, and now I just, I don't like the brand. I think everything is made really cheap, and it's definitely like a premium designer bag. Like, it's not like you're going to like, a department store. Well, yeah, you can go to a department store and buy Michael Kors, but you got know what I'm saying. I got this little clutch when I worked there. I used to work as a sales associate at the Short Hills Mall. <laughs> you see a running theme here? It used to have a handle coming off of it, but the handle broke off. So hence why I think Michael Kors is a little cheap. So this is like my second wallet. Like I've literally been putting this wallet in this wallet. I don't know why. Really because I have so many gift cards and I don't like the gift cards taking up the space in my actual wallet. So I've been putting my gift cards in this little clutch, which I really love this clutch and I think the color is great and obviously I like studs. It It's a theme here, you see. I have a piece of paper that has my dad's handwriting on it. I asked my mom if she could find the number 44 so that I can get it tattooed on my wrist because that was my dad's football number and then that's my birthday, April 4th, 44. So we're, I'm very big on numbers and I believe that um, you know, those who have passed communicate with us through numbers. So she found a 44. I'm gonna ask my cousin Madison to tattoo it on me at some point. That is the plan, a tampon. I always throw my receipts in here and I'm that kind of person where every time I buy something, I hold onto the receipt and then I check my credit card statement and make sure that I was charged the right amount of money. And I know you're gonna think that that's weird because so many people have told me how weird that is. However, I cannot tell you the amount of times a restaurant has charged me incorrectly and not in my favor, might I say. I have a pen just because I don't want to throw a pen in my nice expensive bag. Tide, shout wipes, hand cream. I have a cleansing pad for my phone or for my glasses or my sunglasses and my Cartier receipt that I have to give to Mike so that he can put this somewhere safe. And then this super cute bag that my girlfriend Katie bought for me for my birthday last year. It says selfie prep kit. I love it. And in here I have headphones, more headphones and a uh, glasses cleaner. Another one. I don't know why. I should probably just get rid of that. Tissues because I am forever crying as we all know. Brush for my hair because my hair is so long that sometimes it's just unruly. Another pen. I don't need two pens. And then my lippy that I wore last night. I'm clearly not wearing any makeup today, but I have MAC Cork Lip Liner, NARS Chelsea Girls Lip Gloss, and MAC Lady Be Good, which is a liquid lip. This was my lip that I wore yesterday, so I'm going to happily put this away. But anything, again, that I just wanna keep together or just like not floating about and around in my bag. Sorry if you hear texting because my laptop's open. I could turn the, I'll turn the volume off so it doesn't drive you nuts. But you know what's gonna drive you nuts? My iPad, because I don't know why. Can you not turn the sound off of an iPad? It's really annoying. So anything that I don't wanna spill in my bag or just anything that I think of like, if I'm sitting at dinner and I wanna run to the bathroom and brush my hair or like fix my lip, I could just take this instead of taking my whole bag and I can ask Mike to wash my bag. Do you know what I'm saying? To which point my tampine should be in here. I also have a notepad just in case I need to jot things down. I, I'm planning a lot of things right now. Mike and I are going away. I'm trying to plan which wineries we're going to go to in Napa when we go again in April for my birthday, which I'm so, so excited. So I just, pen and paper, always helpful. Water, which I could really use right now because I'm very thirsty. Sanitary wipes, I don't know why I have two. I have chapstick because I just eat the crap out of my lips when I have anxiety, which is always and some mints in case I got some stanky breath. And so that's a what's in my bag. Before we get to Louie, let me show you something that I bought from Miami, which is this beach bag, which let me tell you something. I polled so many people on this beach bag, what color I should get. It is huge, it is handmade, it is from India. It's called America and Beyond, hand beaded. This is all beaded. I don't know if you can see. 
but I love an evil eye. It reminds me of like the Italian Maloika, you know, the hand that's supposed to ward off like bad juju. If anyone wishes ill upon you, it's supposed to like reflect it off of you. Same thing with the evil eye, except this is not Italian, this is Greek. And since Mike and I went to Greece, I've just really become obsessed with the evil eye. Mike bought me this while we were in Greece. I wear it every single day. My little evil eye, which you guys have seen it so many times. Yeah, so I got this. It's really cute. I don't know what it's like as a beach bag yet because I have yet to use it, but I'm gonna pack it and bring it to Miami. But I love the color. It comes in so many different colors. It was a really, really fun blue one, but I already have a blue evil eye bag, not from this company, from Hot Couture, I think. So I wanted to change it up. It's really big, a zipper here. It has a longer strap should I want to wear it as a crossbody, but I honestly don't think I'm gonna use that. I don't think I'm gonna bring that strap to Miami. I think I'm just gonna wear it over my shoulder, but I'm so in love with this. And then it's just, iridescently green on the back. It's so cute. The company claims to be sustainable. It's an eco-conscious brand designed in the United States and handcrafted in India. Each style is produced in limited numbers, handwoven on looms, using recycled and regenerated cotton. Materials and production processes are carefully selected to offer the most eco-conscious luxury goods. And I love this. Like, it's so cute. You guys will see it on me in Miami, but like, how cute is this? Like the perfect beach bag. I feel like this is a better angle. Maybe not with the lighting, but just with the things behind me. This is a little bit more homey. What do we think? Thoughts? Okay. I bought myself a coin purse. I bought myself two coin purses because I found one and I absolutely fell in love with it. And then I saw this other one that reminded me of my dad. So I bought one for myself and one for my sister. Okay, I'll show you because honestly, by the time this goes up, I will have given it to her already. I was hoping to give it to her this weekend, but I didn't see her. But let me show you the other one first. So this is the first one that I fell in love with. It is an evil eye, duh, and it's so cute. It's called like a lazy evil eye. I am so in love with it. It's just very summery. I'm gonna use this in the summer. My two eyes are gonna ward off all of the negativity and just give us all the positive vibes. In the back, it's this really cute, like woven, hand woven. Again, the front is beaded. It has this little tassel. And then on the inside, it's not as roomy as I thought it was gonna be, but what are you gonna do? I don't know, but it's really cute. I love it. This one that made me think of my dad. I don't know, I saw it and just like instantly it made me think of him. I got this one, which is so cute. I don't know if you can even tell what it is, but it has camouflage and my dad always wore camouflage. He owned camouflage, everything. Camouflage was his favorite. Not color, because it's not a color, but it was just like his favorite thing. Anything that came in camouflage, my dad was like super into so much so that we had to scour the world to find him a camouflage urn. So I thought it was cute because it has camouflage and then a heart in the center. And I like this tassel better than the other one. It's like the meteor of a tassel. You know what I'm saying? I guess onto the moment we've all been waiting for, although I don't know if anyone has been waiting for this moment, but I'm ready to bust in. If you hate designer things and this makes you cringe, then I don't blame you for leaving. And I love to save these. You can put them in your hair. You can put them on as a belt. I always like to tie them in a bow on the back of my hair when I'm wearing something that matches the blue. It's just, it's cute. It's bougie. Recycle, reuse, repurpose, and use all your Louis things. I love, but I also hate these boxes because they take up so much room. Let me pull it out. So my brown belt that I needed I just, I am a 90s baby and there's something about the LV that's just like nostalgic, the canvas, like this pattern. So this is the belt and it goes on like this and it just pops right in and that's a big belt, but I like gaudy, gaudy things. So this is one side, but then this, the reason why I wanted this one is because it's reversible, but this is the color brown that I needed, like a dark brown and my Gucci one's a lighter brown. So just a dark chocolate, rich chocolate. You can pop this out, which honestly, I don't want to do that right now. I'm not ready for this, but see, it's reversible. It's super cute. I really like it. I will show this to you on when I'm wearing jeans because I bought it in like these workout pants, which is not ideal because the guy was like, do you want to try it on? And I was like, I know I'm a size 80. I would love to try it on, but I didn't wear the right pants. So one more look in case you are wondering. I wasn't gonna buy this today. 
I actually went on the Louis Vuitton site because the last time that we went to the Short Hills Mall, I tried to find brown belts and there were no brown belts anywhere. So I found one on the Louis Vuitton website and it was sold out. So I entered my email address. I hit notify me for when it comes back in stock. I bought the wallet and then the sales associate was like, can I help you with something else? And Mike was like, why don't you ask him about the belt that you were looking for? And I literally was like, they're not gonna have it, like a know-it-all because I know that it's like sold out everywhere. And the guy actually had it in the back. What do they say? What's that saying? The answer is always no if you don't ask. And today it was a yes. Wallet. I'm gonna be honest, I went in thinking I want I wanted a toy. Oh my god, that noise is terrible. I wanted the envelope wallet when I initially went into Louis, but honestly, it was like the size of a clutch. I ended up getting this one, which I think it's really cute and I really like it. And again, it has the same fucking pattern because I am a basic I'm a basic bitch. I wish this was just like a gold zipper because the sales associate showed me this one and then he showed me the larger size one and the larger one was like really big. Again, the size of a clutch and it had a nice gold zipper on the side and it zips and then it's pink on the inside, but it's super cute. I just, I just really wish that this was like a regular zipper though. I hate that it's I hate that it's a ribbon and I know I'm complaining and that like these are expensive things and I'm really grateful to have them. I just, you know, sometimes you just wish that things were a little different. I just feel like they kind of cut, cut corners on this. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so this is my wallet. I don't mean to sound like down and out about it cause I really love it. Like it's super cute and I've wanted it for a really long time. I've wanted a Louis wallet for a really long time. So, and I can't wait to use her. And I also can't wait for my banana bread to be done so I can eat it. I honestly can't decide if I love this or if I hate this. I feel like it's very Miami. And I feel like, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna bring this. I like this. I wish my tattoo would show though. I kind of regret getting it so high, but ooh, I like this. Mm, weird, but I'm into it. What time is it? Time. And tea time. And tea time. Are you gonna be the critic? I'm not a critical person, but I'll try my best. You were very critical of our last banana bread. You said it wasn't banana -y enough, so you got three bananas, and it took like 80 minutes to bake this time. The banana bread always has a mountain, but the mountain this time it's like Mount Everest. It's, mountain. it's like protruding, and it was mushy. Now it looks a little burnt on this side. Um, not, not our finest. We're blaming three bananas for that. We're blaming three bananas, because normally I only use two. But three. You did. I did. Someone said it's not banana-y enough, and his name starts with an M and ends with an Eichel. I didn't say to put a whole third banana in. That's what did you say? Oh yeah, what would you have done? Two and a half. Right, because you've made how many banana breads in your lifetime? I mean, probably the same number as you. Get out. You lie. You lie, guy. Okay, well, this banana bread made it out half alive. This one looks better, but I'm giving you this one because it has a hunk of the mound. And the mound was your fault. So you, you let us know whenever you're ready. Right. No pressure. I just stand in front of me with a camera in my face. Yes. Chloe wants some. I think it's really good. Is it more banana-y than the last banana bread you had? I mean, it tastes like it has a whole other banana in it, does it? Does it taste like that? Yeah. In a good way or a bad way? No, I just said it tastes good. H how's your tea? You didn't try it yet. No, it's too hot for me. I don't want to burn my face. All right, cut. <laughs> cut. <laughs>